Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I've got some pretty good news for some Transformers Earth Wars fans and for Transformers fans in general and some other franchises but I'll get on to that in a few minutes. The Earth Wars news I have today is a very long awaited piece of news that the Titans have finally come to the game. So this now means that Crypticon and Metroplex are now in the game to be um, attained. So they can now be used in the game, because they are actually in the game now. And I'm very happy to say that, because from what I can tell, the fandom's been waiting for a long time for this. So, thank God. And Metroplex and Trypticon are some very iconic G1 characters appearing in Season 3 and 4. Well, the few episodes that were Season 4. Like, it didn't last very long in Season 4. I think it was like four episodes, so... Eh, but still. Metroplex and Trypticon, two of the biggest Transformers that were seen in the show. In fact, they were the two biggest, so that tells you what we're dealing with here. Like, these guys are huge. They were literally the Autobots and Decepticon cities, so yeah. And I honestly can't wait to be able to play them. I don't know how you can attain them just yet. I'll let you guys know as soon as I figure it out, because I will definitely be getting Metroplex for my Autobots. But... Onto the other piece of news that I have. Tomorrow is going to be Hasbro PulseCon. If you don't know what that is, Hasbro has a online shop called Hasbro Pulse, and they do a lot of exclusives on there, and a lot of reveals for like the next year of toys. And tomorrow is that is that con. So we're getting announcements for, of course, Marvel and Star Wars, which Hasbro has the rights to the toys for and Power Rangers and Transformers, of which Hasbro owns the entire franchise. So they own the entirety of the Power Rangers franchise, and they practically made the Transformers franchise. So in, in their entirety, they own those two, but they own the toy rights to Marvel and Star Wars, as they have done for an incredibly long time at this point, and will probably continue to do so for a very long time. But we've heard about a lot of announcements. We could be getting like some more announcements for the Lightning Collection for Power Rangers, some more Star Wars Black Series figures, Marvel Legends, and of course we're getting the, re the full reveal of Wave 1 of the new Transformers toy line, for toy line for next year, Legacy. We have had two revealed already in the last couple of hours, one being G1 Skids, which I'm going to put here, which looks pretty cool, and a new Bulkhead, which I'm going to put here as well. As you can see, well, if you've seen Bulkhead in the past, he looks quite a bit different to his prior appearances in Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015, Prime, and Animated, his first appearance. So yeah, you can see he looks a little bit different, but his classic head is still there. Like, I don't think they're ever going to change that head, and if they do, I'll be very surprised. But, gotta say, I love the look of these two figures. And I know I'm going to sound like a broken record here because, and, and so has Hasbro if they do this. But I hope we get an Optimus Prime in the first wave. It's kind of a tradition at this point. First wave, hmm, we need a big character to really get this wave off the ground. Oh, I know! Optimus Prime! So I wouldn't be surprised that tomorrow in the first wave announcements will be an Optimus Prime because this toy line is going to be pulling Transformers from every series so you might get some from animated some from cybertron armada energon g1 beast wars that could it's literally just going to be a collection of transformers throughout the years which it hence the name transformers legacy it's literally going to be going through the legacy of the transformers and picking out some of the best and maybe redesigning a couple as we've seen with bulkhead because of course we've never seen him with such a square body before so Hopefully this toy line will be really good. I'll definitely be talking about this again once this um, event has happened. We've also got a couple of decent, pretty decent guest announcements as well, such as Patton Oswald, who is of course from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and something else that I can't quite remember. Uh, and we're getting Weezer. Yes, Weezer are going to be performing at this online convention. Of course, with COVID still being a thing, it's going to be all online, and they're going to be performing, so... That's pretty cool. But yeah, can't wait for this whole um, convention, well, this live stream to happen. Can't wait to see what's announced. Definitely going to be talking about it at some point once it's definitely done, because 
probably be on Saturday, to be honest, in Saturday's video, so keep an eye out for that. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video on Transformers Earth Wars and Hasbro PulseCon. So, as always, people, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to mine, Roxanne's, and Frost's channels, down in the description, my sub button is down there, yep, that big red one, unless you've already subbed, then it's grey. Thanks for that, by the way. And when you've done that, don't forget to click all three of our bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know what you think of Metroplex and Trypticon in Earth Wars, if you have them. And what you're most looking forward to from Hasbro PulseCon. Once you've done that too, don't forget to follow me on all my socials. Those links will be in my link tree in the description. Don't forget as well to follow Roxanne on her blog and Frost on his Instagram. The links are also in the description below my link tree. And lastly, of course, don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.